F Zero X is one hell of a game for the DD. Yes, it is. Very tasty. Let's move on. Do something a little bit more creative and touch upon the Mario Artist games. Mario Artist, like. Is that any relation at all to the SNES's Mario Paint? It is, but I'd feel a little bit more comfortable if we left this explanation to an expert. <sighs> oh. oh, hi. Didn't notice you come in there. So, let's talk about Mario Artist, shall we? It was an interesting concept Nintendo had. They thought, what if we would give some creative tools to our community and see what they can do with it. And while only four discs came out, we were given the ability to paint, create polygons, and create talent. And then they gave us a fourth disc that let us put all of this talent and polygons and paint onto their RandNet internet service. And then your friends and your friends' friends and even the creepy stalker who just goes after you on Facebook, they could all download and look at your stuff. But this wasn't the whole thing. Half the project got cancelled. They wanted you to be able to make your whole games. Just, you'd be able to make your entire, just bespoke games, and then put them on the internet. And then people could download them and play them. And imagine how happy that would make your stalker. But anyways, Speaking of stalking, Tony, your sink is get oh, peeing in the sink's the best. It's the best. Oh. Wow, that was really informative. Thank you. Very yeah. solid. That's my cousin. Let's move on to Mario Paint. So here are the options. Uh, you can do 2D stuff, uh, movie stuff, I guess. Let's start off with the um, 3D modeling. It's kind of strange that this has this, you'd think it would be in like Polygon Studio, but it's all about putting textures on 3D models. So it's kind of, it's kind huh. of interesting. Yeah, go to Whoa. And these models actually look very, very realistic. Uh, you don't actually For see- For the time. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you don't see anything as detailed as this on the normal N64. Think about the dinosaurs in Turok. They don't look yeah. like this. Yeah. They look nothing like this. Oh, here we go. Now we can play around with the textures, so... Bam! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now they look like the dinosaurs from like Turok. Like yeah, every do. dinosaur I've ever wanted to meet. There we go, now it's got herpes. Yeah. yeah. So here's the true paint feature in Mario Paint. And, uh, kind of interesting. You can do one, two, three, or four player painting, which is kind of cool. TJ, you wanna hit oh. this up? Now let's show our love for video games with a nice big heart. Mm. Okay, that's good. Now let's show them the length of the love we have. That's good, that's good. Now let's show them where our love comes to a point for video games. All right, now let's show the urethra. Good, good, you're doing good. So one of the best features about the Mario Artist games was the ability to import media via the capture card. You'll notice it's that guy right there. Like Richie said, this guy right here. Exactly. Oh yeah, Tony, you're looking... This is a lot of fun right here, but sadly it's about the most fun you can have with the game since the connectivity features are no longer available and weren't all that well implemented to begin with. There's really not much to do with the game other than draw funny words on your best friend's face. Exactly. And that said, let's move on to Mario Polygon Studio. This is... This is probably the most confusing menu I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's not just because it's in Japanese, but partially. Most menus, it's like, okay, here's a symbol that represents something. This makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, this is controller setup, but other than that, I let's pick crown, I guess. All right, here. So I think we can throw in some different options. I what? So does it really have a child's head back there? And then you can you can adjust the width of it, which is kind of cool. And then. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a car Give it me. some rims, Tony. I think, yeah, I think that's race. Maybe? 
Your Either that or you just blew it up. Oh yeah, there here it is. This is a very nicely rendered. I hope you're. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Go Tony. Go Tony. I go. I have no control. Go. I said go. So this game is actually known for having some like pre WarioWare mini games in it. What? What? It. Whoa. Doing well this time, Tony. Uh, oh my. A lot of these games actually do appear in later WarioWare releases, but its relevance to the game is not all that clear. You can't <laughs> really see the polygons that you create mm -hmm. very clearly at all here. Yeah. Well, let's clock in. This seems to be more along the lines of where the real power comes in. Oh, what? What? Why All is right, Toast this is talking Toast to Quest. Us? Okay, there is a slice of Toast talking to us. So you can actually kind of play with the polygon you made, right? Yes. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What? There's a dinosaur on the side there now? This is extremely confusing. What? what? Oh, here we go. Well, oh. who needs Pilot Wing 64 too when you've got this? Wow, this is actually kind of cool. Indeed, the world is a little um, confusing, but this is fun. Yeah. yeah with a snarl on my face, I'm beaten up and broken down. 